Good evening. My name is Pastor Streets. I am the senior pastor of the Bixwell Avenue Congregational United Church of Christ in New Haven, Connecticut. Participating in this Christmas Eve service are members of our congregation. On behalf of Dixwell Church, we wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a blessed, healthy, and safe New Year. Hear now our call to worship, a declaration of good news taken from the ninth chapter of Isaiah, verses 6 through 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Here now a reading from the first chapter of the Gospel of Luke, verses 30 to 33. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Hear now the words for our call to worship. Like the shepherds who came to the stable, uncertain of what we have heard and seen, longing to hear a word of peace and joy. Like the wise ones who have journeyed to make gifts to offer and hope in our hearts that this world can change for the better. Here in the stillness of winter's night, we gather to share the light of Christ, 
a light that shines in the nightfall. We gather in the wonder of this night to share our joy and thanks for new life. Amen. Beloved, Advent, the season of preparation, is nearly over. Our waiting is nearly finished. Now is a time of fulfillment and celebration. In the darkness of night, we gave thanks for light. We lit the candle of hope, hope for ourselves and for God's beloved world. We lit the candle of peace, peace in our hearts and on earth. We lit the candle of joy, joy to the world and within our whole being. We lit a candle of love, the promise of God's love for us and for all creation. And now the hour has come and the season is fulfilled. We have lit the candle of Christ, the Christ candle, the light of the world, the light of possibility for us all. And the people of God said, Amen. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. A reading from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2, and verses 6 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. They lived in a land of shadows, but now light is shining on them. A child, is, a child is born to us, a son is given to us, and he will be our ruler. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. His royal power will continue to grow. His kingdom will always be at peace. He will rule as King David's successor, basing his power on right and justice from now until the end of time. The Lord Almighty is determined to do all this.
A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. The King James Version, the birth of Christ. And it came to pass that in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were going away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary, Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the same which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them.
The fifth reading comes from the Jerusalem Bible, John, the first chapter, verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things came to be. Not one thing had its being, but through him. All that came to be had life in him. And that life was the light of men. A light that shines in the dark. A light that darkness could not overpower. A man came, sent by God. His name was John. He came as a witness, as a witness to speak for the light, so that everyone might believe through him. He was not the light, only a witness to speak for the light. The word was the true light that enlightens all men, and he was coming into the world. He was in the world and had its being through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own domain, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to all who believe in the name of him, who was born not out of human stock, or urge of the flesh, or will of man, but of God himself. The word was made flesh, he lived among us, and we saw his glory, the glory that is his as the only son of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen.
My brothers and my sisters, join us in prayer. God of star and stable, you lead us to wonder and to hope. We gather us together to hear your promise of love. As we gather, we offer our concerns and our dreams, our hopes and fears. Like the shepherds who sought the stable, we seek your promise of peace. We pray for your people broken by violence, those who live with fear, and those who live without hope. We remember and we pray for your courage and peace in our world and in our hearts and in the hearts of people everywhere. Like the wise ones who dedicated their gifts, we remember those in need. We pray for those who are lonely, hungry, or forgotten. For those who are ill in body and in spirit. For those who are confused or afraid. We pray for your love and joy for all your people especially those whom we remember now in the silence of our hearts. Holy One, you came as a child offering renewal of spirit and of living. May our prayers be a new beginning, a new beginning for healing, a new beginning for truth, a new beginning for trust. May we embody love that is forgiving, compassionate, and gracious. May we send back the angels' song of peace and joy. We pray these things in the name of Jesus, who became the Christ, who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, right. Now, beloved, receive these words of blessing and benediction. From this house to yours, may you share in the gifts of this season. May love, the promise of generations, attend you. Joy, the gift of life together, fill you. Peace, the desire of neighbor and nations, find you. 
hope the horizon of faith sustain you. And may a very Merry Christmas be yours indeed, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Sleep.